Attention Focusing Habit Support with Mr. Popper's Penguins As attention deficit disorder and low attention spans become rampant at younger and younger ages in the United States, reading aloud to your child supports habits that counteract inattention and inability to focus. In this video, we will explore how you can use books and reading aloud to your child to build attention focusing habits. Excerpt from Mr. Popper's Penguins by Richard and Florence Atwater. So Captain Cook did not die after all. There were two penguins in the refrigerator, one standing and one sitting on the nest under the ice cubes. They're as like as two peas, said Mrs. Popper. As two penguins, you mean, answered Mr. Popper. Yes, but which is which? At this moment, the standing penguin jumped out of the ice box, reached inside, and took one of the checkers from under the sitting penguin, whose eyes were closed in sleep, and laid it at Mr. Popper's feet. See, Mama, he's thanking me, said Mr. Popper, patting the penguin. At the South Pole, that's the way a penguin shows its friendship, only it uses a stone instead of a checker. This one must be Captain Cook, and he's trying to show that he's grateful to us for getting him Greta and saving his life. In this excerpt of Mr. Popper's Penguins, we learn one moment that Captain Cook has survived, the next moment that Mama can't tell the two penguins apart, and only seconds later that Mr. Popper has noticed his penguin pet is thanking him for saving his life. Don't back away from reading aloud short chapter books like Mr. Popper's Penguins, Holes, Rascal, and other fast-paced books that will capture your child's imagination and in turn will develop that longer attention span. Books with several characters and continual action keep a child's mind steadily moving along. As children listen to books read aloud, they are filled with imaginative scenes captured in the words on the page. A child can listen to a captivating story for a long time. Reading aloud to your child increases his or her ability to pay attention and focus, a habit necessary for learning to read and academic achievement in early grades. So many children today suffer from short attention spans, but reading aloud to them is an excellent way to combat this. Focusing on a book requires a child to stay in one place and pay attention, which will help to expand his or her attention span and focus better in all areas of life. Reading aloud, even for a short amount of time, enables a child to create the pictures in his or her head out of the words he or she has heard from the story. The mental stimulation being practiced during a read aloud takes an amount of concentration that, when practiced regularly, will enable a child to focus on longer tasks for longer periods of time. Focusing and paying attention are learned skills essential to future reading development and academic success. As children listen to stories read aloud, they grow in their abilities to focus on the story for longer and longer amounts of time. To learn more, visit slowandsteadygetmeReadyForKindergarten.com.